Honor. Get down. I'll bring you red luck in a minute. This is such a fantastic surprise. I expected a few people to be here. I didn't expect there to be such a large audience, a large crowd. I'm Ronnie Steele, and you'll not believe what I'm going to say now, but in all honesty, I've waited 54 years for this occasion in order to thank my wonderful teacher who I last saw in 1968. He wasn't just a great teacher, he was a brilliant man, uh, was Brian Glover. Right, now then, uh, the second speaker is from the All Grieve, Truth and Justice campaign, it's Mr. Joe Rollins. Hi everybody. So if you want to remember Brian and keep his, uh, his socialist principles alive and encourage you all to attend the picket lines on 1st of October, there's plenty to choose from. You've got the RMT, as left representing rail workers, you've got the postal workers going out and you've also got Unite members in various disputes in buses, port workers and elsewhere. So stand up for the working class, remember Brian and thanks for coming today, cheers. Thank you very much, Joe. Um, and next up, we have what is probably the best known face in the history of Barnsley, the actor Di Bradley. Hi, everybody. One, can you hear? Can you hear me? Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming here and celebrating the life of Brian Glover, who was a very, very special friend to myself and to Ken and many other people because he was an ordinary person. Thank you very much. Thank you, Di. And the final speaker is probably the most famous, famous, socialist speaker in the world, it's Mr. Ken Loach. And I might add, the most important director this country has ever had. Oh, go away. Um, so, um, thanks very much. Um, and in, in my 49th year, I'm uh, um, absolutely <laughs> delighted um, it's always a treat to come back to Barnsley because um, they ch you, you cheer us up and you go away with a smile and so thanks again for the invitation Ronnie and everyone and it, it couldn't be a greater pleasure than to come here and remember the great Brian Glover and to honour him in this way. Um, I, I first met Brian um, through Barry Hines who as you know taught um, in Barnsley and um, he said he, he'd written the book and we, we were delighted to be doing it. I mean, it's such a wonderful book. And um, we tried to cast it from everybody in, in the area, you know, everybody in the town, as far as we could. And um, Barry said, I know someone for the games master, Mr. Sugden. Um, he said he, he teaches English at a local school. Uh, so we met Brian and um, of course he was an all-in wrestler. Um, and uh, he, he said, he said, I, I wrestle under the name of Leon Arras. I said, Leon Arras, why that? He said, well, Leon Arras, France. He said, he didn't turn up one night, so I had to go on as him in a mask. <laughs> and uh, since then, he's been Leon Arras. Um, and we, we love the idea of him, of him wrestling in the night and then singing All Things Bright and Beautiful in the Sunday next morning. Um, and um, 
he was, uh, we, we did a few trials and he was obviously the man for the job. Uh, and he, he played it with the skills he'd learned both as a wrestler and as a teacher of English. And we weren't quite sure how the skills interlap, which, which he'd learned from wrestling and which he taught from <laughs> teaching the kids. Um, but he was very funny. I mean, he had such natural humour and natural timing. Um, when you, in the football scene, a lot of the, most of the lines, of course, are in Barry's book. But one or two of them are, are, um, are pure Brian. Uh, when he sends Tebbit off uh, for bad language, he says, you'll play this game like gentlemen. <laughs> 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 having, having kicked the kids off the ground for most of the game. Um, but he was, it was a joy to be with and we, we stayed in touch over the years from time to time. Of course he became very well known, um, he became a national figure, I mean in that awful, awful phrase I hate, um, they would call him a national treasure. They call him a national treasure but forget, to, forget that he was a man of the left, you know, he was a principled man as well as being a great actor and a good comic. Um, but he was a principled man and, and, and that's why we honour him really. Because he it, it wasn't just funny, he wasn't just good company, he was a man of principle, and that's why we honour him. Um, but but he, he became, um, he became um, very well known as, um, as selling Tetley tea bags uh, and uh, the official Yorkshireman. If there's one abiding image that we'll have of Brian when we, when we reveal the, the plaque that has been so widely put up, it's a Brian looking down with a smile on his face, but his fist in the air. <laughs> Cheers. Remember, remember Brian. Meanwhile, he's got an impressive list of film and TV credits to his name, and today the much-loved Kes actor Brian Glover was remembered in Barnsley. Yes, from the sitcom Porridge to the 1969 film Kes to the Tetley Tea adverts, Brian's roles were many and varied, despite originally starting his professional life as a teacher and then a wrestler. Well, today he was honoured with a blue plaque recognising his achievements with the guest list at its unveiling, reading like a who's who of the Yorkshire film industry. Adam Fowler reports. Three, two, one. A lasting tribute to a Barnsley legend. A blue plaque unveiled for Brian Glover by his son and director Ken Loach, who made him a star with Kez. He has had the identity of somebody from Barnsley for many, many years after he'd left, after he wasn't living here anymore, but he, he kind of never, the Barnsley never left him. Let's get back into town to Channel's pub, right in the centre where they serve one of the best pie and pea lunches you could ask for, and a gut pint. The plaque's been placed outside a pub Brian filmed in for Yorkshire Television's It's No Joke Living in Barnsley. But it's for that first role that Glover is perhaps most fondly remembered, an achievement not lost on director Ken Loach. It's a real honour to be, for the film to be remembered in the way it is, because, um, you know, a little job we did in 1968 uh, and still remembered. And as they pass uh, the plaque, I hope they'll, I hope they'll raise a smile um, to Brian and he'd be pleased at that. It's 25 years since Brian Glover passed away, but in Barnsley, he'll always be someone to celebrate. Right, well, we've got the money of Mr. Ronnie Steele here, uh, and he, he would have picked my brains, what few I've got, about Brian Glover's films. I've got a, a nice selection here on. Uh, as you know, when he uh, made Kez in 1970, 1969, 70. 70. 70. Well, it was released in 70. Really? It was actually made uh, in the summer holidays of 1968. Right, but he played Sugden, the uh, comical Mr. Sugden, the games teacher. And actually, it was Barry Hines who, 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 uh, who proposed him, if you like. And anyhow, two years after, his, his remarkable thing it led to all to it. So let's just start with this. It's a documentary. Uh, after his death in, uh, when he was 65, when did he die? Uh, 1997. 1997, he was 65, I Three. believe. 63? Three. Three, yes. Right, so this is what, uh, we'll, we'll just show, the, I'll just show you this, Ronnie. It was a tribute for, uh, from Calendar. Because it gives you the best view of Barnsley. Just look at that, look. 
1976, and in this Yorkshire television documentary, Brian Glover revisited his hometown. By now an established actor, he returned to the estate where he'd spent his childhood, a far cry from the West End and Hollywood where he'd go on to win fame and fortune, although his was an unconventional route to the top. I never knew that. Lone Wood, he lived in Lone Wood. Mm -hmm. I think, his, I think his, uh, his parents owned a sweet shop. Mm. Following in his father's footsteps, Brian Glover became a wrestler, at first juggling the rough and tumble of life in the ring with a career teaching English and French. Eventually he turned professional, adopting the name Leon Arras after being mistaken for a French fighter, a situation which he admitted eventually caught up with him. Years later, we used to rest in an old cycle drum in Rome, in France, and uh, the door burst open one night, oh, Leon Arras, I said, easy. <laughs> He said, what O.C.? It was the same guy. And he owned a bar in the age by this guy. And I finished up wrist wrestling him on the bar on French TV for the real Leon Arras to stand up. Come on, who won? Me, <laughs> Leon Arras. <laughs> His big acting break came in 1968 when he was chosen to play the school games master in the film Kez. Right, David, where are Manchester United? Who are you? Uh, we'll be Spurs here, then there's no clash of colours. Right, and it's Manchester United versus Spurs in this important fifth round cup tie here at Old Trafford. And it's the third slightly balding chant until kick off. What was that pit at that, Ronnie? That would be New Carlton Pit. Oh, yeah. And Pithead Baths. Othersley, Othersley. Othersley, yeah. From then on, he never looked back, performing with the Royal Shakespeare Company and starring in Hollywood blockbusters like the science fiction epic Alien 3 with Sigourney Weaver. It's an eight-foot creature of some kind with acid for blood, and it arrived on your spaceship. It kills on sight and is generally unpleasant. And of course, you expect me to accept all this in your word. No, I don't expect anything. Quite a story, Mr. Aaron. Right, sir. It's a beauty. He was a natural at comedy. About time, too. Two hours of been sitting out there. The thing's killing me. I'm sorry, sir. I'm on my own today, you see. <laughs> I don't care. Take it out. That's all, sir. Would you, would you open wide, please? <laughs> <Come on. laughs> don't fire. You're the dentist. You tell me. Right, just, just, just open wide, sir. Don't, don't. Just relax. <laughs> you were famous for Tetley, uh, T-Bugs, he played Gaffer, Gaffer's voice in Deadly T-Bugs, which was this, let's just find out. This demonstration will show how Tetley's 2,000 perforations let flavour flood out. Imagine Sydney's the flavour and the hoops a perforation. Of course, our craftsmanship means that you won't have to jump through hoops to get a flavourful cup of tea. Simply dive into a box of Tetley. Just like Sydney. <laughs> Tetley make tea bags, make tea. It seemed to be on for years that time, though, didn't it? <laughs> I think Bobby Nook took it off, didn't he? Did he? No, oh. when he when he died. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. They want the voice to be trusted, they use a northern voice. Right, so that's uh, Tetley's tea bag thing, and then he eats the jackpot here. He, uh, first great train robbery. He, 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 this, this is big style, 1978. Yeah. Right. Remember that was Sean Connery. I've never seen it. Oh, it's fantastic. And he plays the rat bait. Uh, it's, it's fantastic clip, this. Three minutes, 
majesty. Yes. Three majesties, gentlemen. You may wager as you feel fit. Get him his 15, Tom. Remember the Alamo. Let's just yeah. watch that. This is American Werewolf in London. Should the world know our business? It's murder then. Then murder it is. It's in God's hands now. No one brought them here. No one wanted them here. You could have told them. No, you daft. And what do you think they'd say? They'd think us mad. Listen. Do you hear it? Must go to them. I heard nothing. Not I. Right. So that's oh, American Werewolf in London. Uh, yes, you can see, he had a fascinating, fascinating stage life, didn't he? Film life, you know. Yeah. Well famous. Fantastic career. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot, Ron. That's uh, that is me on his behalf. Hey, hey, what bad you said, buddy? It won't bad. Went really, really well. Yeah. You just hope that it goes well. You expect some things to go wrong, but on the whole, it, it was it was fantastic. So my last question: uh, Will the check be in the post, or are you, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You might have to wait and see. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Cop. You have to prepare me for that one next time. <laughs> Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Marvellous. Okay, three cheers for Brian Glover. Ronnie. Ronnie. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Where has the been since I saw thee? On Barnsley, main box stack. We've all heard scandal, the story about thee. We've seen the chronicle. On page three. Pain we heard from Mulberry Lane. That's what? On Barnsley, Main Mokestar. 